Now there you have it, folks. In the first term, Pontus Obama was uh, walking on water, and it looks as if he didn't bring here. He's running in the air. He's touching the ground. Poor dog. The dog has to contend with running in the ground, but Pontus is running in the air. And I'm quite sure there are no demons holding up there, so maybe he has mastered the art of uh, uh, balancing the gravity. Or uh, the good Lord probably is uh, creating that cushion so that he can run and walk uh, in the air. And so um, after the inauguration, I expect us to, you know, because of course uh, we're going to have to be moving so swift that the friction in the earth and um, the ground will keep you back, man. we got to be off the ground and running because. There's so many gigantic things to accomplish. There's so many feats to, uh, to, to achieve. And there's so many uh, obstacles to surmount that I think that is possible. And so, um, you know, while we even have to contend with the broken bottles and nails and so on, uh, Pontus is going to be just sliding through getting the things done. Uh, this is wonderful because there's so many things to be done. Um, unlike many other um, Pontuses, uh, this Pontus basically has uh, everything to fix. The whole uh, gamut of uh, um, you know, democratic institutions, family, education, um, religion, um, the politics, the economy, sports, war. I mean, there's a lot of things to fix. And, and, and I mean, neglect is, is bad. You see, um, Many people get ahead by sacrificing um, the basic things. Say the illegal immigrants, they come in and they want to save money to send home to fix the house or whatever. And so they don't have any health care. Uh, they sleep, you know, in a way to eat any kind of thing and so on. And eventually it, it takes toll. They die and uh, they get harmed and so on. So uh, if you could, as you're going along, try to put something back in. See. Uh, in, in 1998, I think I was telling uh, the folks in Jacksonville, Florida, that America was about to collapse because we're killing the golden goose that laid the egg. And they were so annoyed. Folks in television would be saying, the, the, um, the journalists, they're saying, oh, I'm going to college and I have a degree. And I've never heard those kind of things he's talking about. This guy, you don't think he's crazy? People could have a lot of education and be crazy. Yeah, right. I mean, I, I don't know if I could go back to Jacksonville safely and let them know that. You know, here am I, I'm right, give me back my child because I took my child away. I'm trying to harm me because I think I'm crazy. And the thing that they could do is some petty stuff to make me get angry so they could come now and lock me up and put me in a mental institution or shoot me or whatever. But, um, you know, um, I, I, I'm ahead of the game and I know the games. I know them Bush. They, they, they like to do stuff like that, man. Jeff Bush and his people, they will, you know, insult you behind the cameras or inside the building and then they come up and run out outside. And then we try to take back the, the thing that they took from you. Then I say, hey, she's attacking me. And then they let go of the arms on you. And then they say, mission accomplished. They say, um, we took care of that threat. But there's no threat. They just try to create uh, a little excitement so that uh, people can uh, look away from the uh, inefficiencies and the deficiencies and uh, their unpatriotism and their working with the enemy. And so uh, Pontus has to come back now and take care of all these things, have the family to be whole again, have the economy to be whole, um, have the politicians to, to, to be honest and, and to work for the country as opposed to the enemy. Um, you know, reform war and uh, just use war as a very defensive strategy, not necessarily as an economic engine or anything like that, because, man, you know, this has happened in the past, man, you just can't, you know, do stuff like you, you want to do now, you know what I mean? Um, education, I mean, how can folks in high position be happy to know that the philosophy, the prevailing philosophy was that, now you don't need to know anything, man. You just know where to find the stuff and it's going to be good. And then pull people in mind with trivia. Like I see uh, the um, core standard, the new education philosophy of President Obama. The critics are saying that, oh, we need a lot of um, fiction. I mean, come on. But I think what the government needs to do is stop funding some of these people that write these fictions. Because by now, Stephen King, he has made so much money in uh, peddling evil and, and, and the war to mentality that um, you probably don't need funding again from the government. But the government should stop funding people that write trivial fiction. And that, that's how to stop it. 
we have too many fiction, we have too many books out here on stupid stuff. And I, I've seen a lot of women out here, they look very intelligent, they seem to have culture, and they seem to have had a good education, but you know what? They got involved in the same Stephen King books, and from one they go to the next, Harry Potter, they got involved in Wicca, Ouija Board Magic, um, uh, Lifetimes, and all this stupidness. And you know, next thing they kind of have a, a mental disability. You see them, they're stupid. They go on and sit down in a restaurant, they're, they're obese, they're, they got a whole cheesecake, and, and they're doing it. Like, like, they're, like they're Mormons or something. And that's what evil does. And so, um, education and evil, they, they can't go together. You can't be evil and be educated because education is a religious concept, experience, practice, and it's only God really is interested in developing truth. Because look at it, it's Christ who created this world and put all these mysteries locked up in the enigmas. And as we work with him, he's going to reveal it to us. Okay? Um, from the beginning, although there wasn't um, big microscopes, men in the Bible said that this guy uh, was commissioned to have sex with his brother's wife because his brother was barren. He was a uh, uh, the word, uh, an important. And uh, he did have sex with a woman, but when he was about to ejaculate, he pulled out his penis and spilled it on the ground. So they said he spread the seed on the ground. Seed, eh? you know, like how seed grows a plant. So they were able to know that. You know, they call it the seed way back then, although they can see nothing. They knew that it's not liquid, but there had to be something in there that does the job. And so that's how God works. Um, you know, way back when, people had been saying things that now showing up and, 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 and science is now backing it up. Why not then go and accept the whole dam and the stuff that you can't colonize the, the universe because it wasn't made to be colonized, Earth was made to be inhabited, and so on. And so. Um, if folks don't have this education, then they will just be reinventing the wheel, spinning the top. By the way, my professors used to laugh at the stuff they're going on in the educational philosophy system. He said this guy um, took notes carefully and so on. He got honors and he had all his notes and his books in his bag. So when he's going home now, he's going to review them and so on. And while he was going on the train, there was a wreck and all his notes got lost and his books got lost. And so that the end of his education. He never had an education. And if he were serious and he's going to try to get it, then <laughs> it's gone. So now, how are you going to hide this guy? What does he know? What is he going to do? And so places like India where, uh, and China where people are eager about education and working hard, now they're looking at the mecca of learning. And you have to go up there to be certified. <laughs> this thing is such a joke. But anyway, so the president is definitely with his uh, standard, core standard and so forth. He's on the right track. and. And I hope that in this term, that the evil people don't oppose it because, you know, they're just working for the enemy. And in opposing things that would benefit America, it just shows how folks don't understand where they're at.